infections means that we are able to think about moving beyond the emergency response to the pandemic. This does not mean that the pandemic is over, but it does mean that we are able to think now about how we can live safely with the virus, just as we live with other infectious illnesses. Today, we've published a plan that sets out how we can do this, while ensuring that we can respond quickly if a new variant emerges or if we have another pandemic wave putting unsustainable pressure on our NHS. If the public health position remains favourable, we will start this transition by removing the legal underpinning of the measures we have lived with for the last two years. And we'll, move, we'll remove the legal requirements from the 28th of March. From that date, the legal requirement to wear face coverings will end. The legal requirement to self-isolate will end and the legal requirement for businesses to carry out specific COVID risk assessments and take reasonable measures will end as well. But I want to be clear that the ways we have learned to behave and which have kept us safe during the pandemic will continue to be important after the 28th of March. While we have moved away from legal requirements, the Welsh Government will continue to provide guidance which will make it clear, for example, that we should self-isolate if we are ill with the virus. Businesses and employers will still be subject to the general health and safety requirements. And schools will continue to operate using the national framework and for now, we're recommending that face coverings continue to be worn in communal indoor areas by all staff and secondary school-age students.